Hi guys, good morning. This morning, my sister actually is flying home from school. So she goes to school in Montreal. Her university is there. So I'm super excited for her to come back. This is, um, I have one sister and she's younger than me. So she just finished her first semester of university. So super exciting. Um, this is gonna be like her first time back after like four months. So, um, we're all super excited. So yeah, I think it's just gonna be a chill day today. I know that we're gonna go out for dinner tonight because there's definitely some restaurants that my sister wants to go to. So we'll definitely take her to her favorite places while she's here. Um, and then we'll just see what the rest of the weekend has in store for us. I also want to talk about this book, uh, Sweet Bean Paste by Durian Sukigawa. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that last name. I just finished this book last night before I was heading to bed. And it is so, so, so good. I had to give it five stars on Goodreads because I loved it so much. And the thing is, like, I don't think there's anything that, like, special in the plot about it, not gonna lie. Like, it's not this amazing romance story. It's not this large adventure happening. It is literally the most, like, sweet, genuine and like heartfelt story that I've ever read and I was just like so compelled to give it a five stars because I feel like no book has really made me feel this way in the sense that like it just made me reevaluate relationships in life and like different perspectives. It does talk a lot about um, like different phases in life I feel like so um, the three main characters are there's this high school girl um this middle-aged man i guess you could say maybe a little bit older and then this older women and it kind of just it follows mainly the man but seeing how all their stories intertwine and kind of how all their relationships come together i thought it was so beautiful and the writing was so good and i don't know i just genuinely loved this book this book was not pretentious in any way it was so genuine and i feel like that's what i loved about it because i tried to read so many like books similar to it with like a similar vibe and i always kind of get a pretentious vibe that i can never really fully get into it um i don't know if that's maybe just like where i am in life and not being able to fully relate to it but this one i feel like was just amazing and it gave me everything that i needed the book to give me so yeah that is sweet bean paste by durian tsukigawa <laughs> First, I just want to show you guys the new phone case I got. Isn't it adorable? I got it off Etsy. Um, I'll link it down below because I just think it's so cute. So yeah, it's like, it's titled as embroidered, but I feel like it's kind of like tuft um, rather than embroidery, but it's like actually fuzzy, which is so cute. I decided to name the cat Chico. I just think it's so cute. Cheeky Chico. I'm like in between, but I think I'm leaning more towards Chico. Hey, Chico. So it's Friday, December 29th. Today we're working a day shift, so 7 to 7. It is currently 6.45, so I'm just about to head up to the floor. And I think today's gonna be a super busy day. For one, I'm super tired. I don't think it'll be a busy floor like work-wise since it's the holidays, there are less surgeries going on. It's just that right after work, we are heading over to my friend's apartment to go out and have a sleepover, so. There's gonna be stuff on the move. 
but it's gonna be a super fun day. So yeah, let's go have a great day. Bagel time and we're just on break and we're gonna try out because I'm starving. Got everything bagel with cream cheese. Hi guys! So it is currently 7.05. Ah! I just got out my day shift from the hospital and now I'm walking to my friend's apartment and then we're gonna get ready for the evening because we're gonna go out and have so much fun. And it's retro night at this club we're going to, so it's gonna be super fantastic. Um, not gonna lie, I feel super gross right now, so it's just gonna be one of those nights where we deal with the grossness and still have fun and hit the town. So, that being said, we're like five minutes away from my friend's apartment. And we're just gonna have to quickly get dressed and ready. I'm also starving, so wherever we go, I am gonna have to get food. Because there's no way in hell that I'm screwing myself over by drinking without eating dinner, so dinner, well no. Get ready, dinner, have a blast. Those are the three things on the agenda for tonight. because I just realized I haven't had matcha so long so hopefully this hits which I think it will because it looks beautiful like look at that green then I just got my go-to order which is an everything bagel toasted plain cream cheese it's a little bit later so after breakfast I showered as you can see and I feel much better less gross and more ready for the day and we're just gonna quickly do um, some light makeup because I'm gonna get my passport photo done because that needs to be renewed. So we're gonna get a new photo. So we're just gonna get ready. I did decide on pants. So we're just going with like these black loose business pants just because it's not gonna be in the photos. So I thought, you know, I don't really care and I don't really feel like wearing jeans. So. These flowy pants are for the wind today and I'm probably just gonna wear my docks. So I took the roller out and I'm actually happy with how it turned out. It just adds more volume to my hair. Um, so yeah, let's go get our passport photo. I need to decide whether I wanna keep my bangs because if I do, then I need to trim them because as you can see, they're very long, like my front bangs, or if I should just let them grow out back into like the side curtain bangs that I used to have. So kind of a little, please give me some advice because as much as I loved the look of my front bangs, they were like such a hassle to like take care of and like constantly style and they got greasy so easily and when they were greasy it was really obvious and it didn't really look good with my glasses so leave a comment down below and please help me. So good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Show them what you got. Which one? Oh, YSL perfume. It so good. So the deal is if you open. This is such an insane deal. 
I'm actually like so impressed. Like this alone, I think when I first bought it, it cost me like $50. We went out for brunch the next day and late Christmas gifts were given again, as you can see. I do want to preface though that as a family, we do not normally go out for food this much. We did go more than usual during this winter break just because my sister was home and going out for food is a family love language of ours and it's a fun way for us to make memories and spend quality time together. Are the cute gloves that I have. Let's go skating. Puppet show. Butterfly bloomed and disintegrated into the sky. I haven't skated in so long, like years. Here we go! He did not come properly just for this. not be able to survive without it. Oh, feels so good to be back in regular shoes.